Well, the people of Uvalde and the public may finally get to see what happened in the hallway after a school shooting in Uvalde. Dan Godwin is here with more. Dan. And Lauren, we are getting word this morning that the State House Committee investigating the shooting will convene Sunday afternoon in Uvalde. And at that time, there are plans to show Uvalde residents the video in question as well as the committee's preliminary findings. In Uvalde, there have been community protests expressing frustration with what some have called a lack of transparency about what happened on May 24th, and that has led to increasing pressure to release 77 minutes of surveillance footage from inside Robb Elementary during the shooting that killed 19 students and two teachers. A growing number of Texas officials have said it should be released. Governor Abbott was in Dallas Monday for a convention. He called for the footage to be made public with the understanding that images of victims are not shown. Let me be clear and let me be adamant. The full truth about what happened in Uvalde must be disclosed to the public, especially the people of Uvalde, and must be done quickly. We think that's very important. We'll continue to put pressure on the situation and consider all options in making sure that video gets out for the public to view. Texas Representative Dustin Burroughs leads the House committee investigating the shooting. That panel has viewed surveillance footage of the gunman's attack. They too called for it to be released, but committee members signed a non-disclosure agreement with Uvalde County DA Christina Busby, and she wants the video to remain off limits to the general public. It reportedly presents a damning portrayal of police inaction in the face of the tragedy. That Uvalde County DA has not made any public statements since the shooting. But again, it appears the video will be shown to Uvalde residents on Sunday, along with some preliminary findings of that House committee. And then the committee chair says both will be made available to the general public. Tim and Lauren.